So I put a poll out this week asking people on Twitter if I should attempt to daily vlog in August. And quite frankly, I didn't think anyone would really vote on it, but I got nine responses. The answer is that a majority of my Twitter peeps said absolutely. And uh, a couple said nope, and I get it. Not everyone wants to see this face every day, but a majority said absolutely. And then I started to think about it and I'm gonna be daily vlogging in August. And I know that sounds crazy. Well, at least it sounds crazy to me because daily vlogging is... <sighs> I moved to New York August 1st and daily vlogging all month of August would mean documenting the first month I've lived in New York. But also what's terrifying to me is finding the time and the ability to do something like this every day. And it's not gonna be like this. This is just me talking to you. This is casual. I wanna do a proper kind of story or narrative every day for you guys. And it's gonna be crazy. I've done it before. And the funny thing is, I don't really want people to find that channel, but I'm not specifically taking it off because I still get views for some of the reviews I've done. But like I did daily vlogging for 30 days one day one time about, this is circa like 2013. That looks like it hurts. I want a reindeer. <laughs> An awkward Santa pose. Ready the creepiest eyeballs the ever. With a and, and then Mrs. Claus. I picked out my ornament for this year. Wants a Santa. Time to eat. Yeah, so that's Ian like four years ago without glasses, without caring about my hair, without caring about generally how I look. Anyway, so yeah, I did that for for a month straight and it was, it was rewarding from the standpoint of like producing all of that stuff every single day. But even back then when I didn't have as many skills, so to speak, in, in video making, it it took forever and it was like such a challenge, but I'm gonna do it again. And all right guys, sorry, I had to change, had to change locations. This is a park right across the street from my, my apartment and I've always wanted to make a video here, just never have. So I thought today the last video before my move vlog would be perfect. Anyway, so the reason behind why I want to do a daily vlog in August is really because the last six months I've been traveling and making vlogs on a weekly basis, and it has totally fundamentally changed my filmmaking. I've learned so much in the last six months making videos than I have in my entire creative life. And so I think doing that on a daily basis, at least for a month, is gonna just accelerate that even more. I'm really excited not only for what this could bring to this channel, but also what it can bring to my clients at Wilbur. We make videos for clients and brands and stuff, and I think it can only help there too in a directive role. So I'm very, very excited what it could bring. It's gonna be really hard. It's, it's gonna be a challenge for sure, but uh, you know, other people do it and uh, you know, I think I can do it. And also another point, I'm really excited that at the end of it, no matter what, I'm gonna have a vlog from every day of my move to New York, like figuring out New York. And yeah, I'm doing a podcast about that, but this is gonna be a daily chronicle of figuring out what being a New Yorker or living in New York means to me. So that's exciting just on a personal level. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's it for today's, for today's uh, episode. You guys like my uh, throwback t-shirt from 2012? I was a state high jumper in my high school. Yeah, I was, I was a big deal, I was pretty cool. If you like these videos, the biggest thing I could ask for is just a thumbs up on this video and a subscribe if you'd like to see my venture into New York. Uh, that would be so appreciated. But other than that, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go edit this. Yeah. Woo. Oh, and just an FYI, the time you're seeing this video, I'm moving out Friday out of my apartment. So wish me luck. I'm gonna have big balls. <laughs>